on earth is going on? Media sandwich. Oh, the bells brought me this a lovely little, little treat. <laughs> Love that, actually. Dead hair. Dead hair. <laughs> Mash is mashed potatoes. And what is the point in living your life choosing the safe option? Clean up the camera. Hello, welcome to a new vlog. It's Monday, Monday the 13th of Jan. Ooh, I'll talk to you about my new edition. So it's Monday and I'm actually, oh, that needs a tidy, I'll do that now. Actually really feeling good about vlogging and things like that at the moment. So, well just work in general actually, I'm feeling in a really good space. So back to a new vlog. Not got too much planned this week actually, but it's just gonna be a normal working week. <laughs> I've actually got some really exciting things coming up, which I'm so looking forward to. Some changes, a big change, and then hopefully an exciting work that, well, they're both work things, but an exciting kind of venture that will benefit um, my audience as well, hopefully. So those are two big things coming up on the horizon, but at the moment, it's just a normal working week. And I've just filmed a video. I've actually just filmed my kind of style tips and staples. So that should be up now. I filmed that this morning. Tim's editing an IGTV video of mine. So he's cracking on with that. It's now, I've been to the gym. It's quarter to 12. So that is done and dusted now, thank goodness. I'm just kind of, I kept in that outfit that I was wearing because I thought, I just kind of wanted to not feel like a slob all day. Cause sometimes when I'm just in my joggers, I just feel really slobbish. And it's just kind of goes with the feeling of being unproductive. So I've kept in my clothes from before. I'm wearing these pieces of jewelry from PD Paula. Rings as well. And oh, the earrings are too. I quite like this layering look. The jumper is from H&M. I'm just having a coffee. I've just made a coffee in our espresso maker which i have already actually mentioned so this is our little espresso maker from john lewis my mum got tim this for christmas because he loves coffee and he says it's really like amazing espresso but i've had it with quite a lot of milking because i'm not a huge coffee lover but it's actually really nice i'm more of a tea person but that is really nice and yeah we just popped it on there so a nice new addition if you're looking to get something that makes good espresso it's recommended also this shall be on my new home account if you don't already follow it it's lydia tomlinson home on instagram um this is our new addition for the corner i'm gonna obviously fill it with some things things aren't staying where they are i've just kind of popped a few bits on the shelf to see what they looked like but yeah this is a new shelf not sure if the plants stay in there either but i think i just wanted to to fill that wall with something that felt quite cozy and homey and just gave the place a little bit more personality. So hopefully on IGTV, I shall be decorating that. It's from, from Wayfair, I think. It was only, it was only pretty cheap. I think it was about 40 pounds. But the thing is when you are renting, you don't want to spend a fortune on furniture because you know, if you ever do buy a house or to wherever the next place is that you go, that furniture might not be like fitting so you can actually find some really good furniture for really affordable prices if you look hard enough i mean there were some gorgeous shelves that would be amazing to invest in but at the moment we're just not really in a position where we want to do that with furniture so i actually really like this white one white was something i wanted to go for because i did just want it to blend in with the wall because we've got a lot of gray already with the kitchen um, and I wanted the white to just blend in. But there were some really gorgeous, like, um, goldy brass ones. But again, that kind of stuff, although it was like £2,000, and that kind of stuff goes out of style really easily. So um, the white is what we went for. Anyway, I'm going to actually... This is going to be a really nice new position for talking to you whilst we're actually making... I thought of that. That's so good. I'm going to put this washing up away. It's actually really nearly lunchtime, so I'm going to put the washing up away. Maybe sort a couple of emails out before lunch and then make some lunch. So let's go. <laughs> in now. 
Sorry about the washing machine noise. Also, this afternoon I need to do quite a lot of accountancy kind of stuff, which is so boring. And also, such a minefield. I um, put on Instagram something the other day because I was reading up about old tax and things like that. Just about how strongly I feel that we should learn these things in school. And quite a lot of people replied, there's a man on a roof over there walking. A bit worrying. Let's hope it's a rooftop garden. Mm, keep an eye on him. Yeah, just how important it is that we should learn basic economics in school. And people reply to me like completely agreeing and saying like things like how to apply for a mortgage, things like that, because you go in so blind. And honestly, sometimes I feel like such an idiot because I don't know anything about accountancy, taxing, things like that. I mean, I know very, very basic now just from what I've taught myself, but it is really a minefield. And if you just even learn in school, just some basic understanding, it would just give you that knowledge for later in life, just so you've got a stepping stone to build on. If you do want to become like a business owner or something like that, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost impossible if you are clueless about those kinds of things, which is then it's not my kind of area of expertise or anything like that. The guy's got high his vest on now, so I'm feeling like he's meant to be there. What on earth is going on? Oh, I think he might be cleaning, cleaning windows. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see through the window, but let me try and show you. You can just vaguely see that orange figure. Ooh, there, walking about. But he didn't have the high vis on, so it was a little bit more worrying before. I'm actually so happy with my shelf. Looking forward to decorating it, but like I say, it will be on my home account soon. So we're gonna do some emails now, and then I'm gonna have some lunch, because it's 11.53 now. So I've just had a couple of orders just before we have lunch, which Tim's making, not me. I got this through. So this is from Etsy, which I just bought the other day because my camera, not my camera, my phone needed a new case desperately. It was just from Etsy. Let's see if I can find who it was from. Yeah, Lydia Sandwich. Oh, no, that's awful. <laughs> that's unhygienic. Oh, it's a bit of frozen bread. Uh, so it's by Lisa Wolford. Her Instagram is personalised by Lisa. And her website is personalisedbylisa.co.uk. And then she's called Personalised by Lisa on Etsy as well. So I think this was about £13 in total, including shipping, which I think is a really good price. But I just desperately needed a new phone case. So I thought I'd go for one. Nice and plain, but with my initials on. So I just got this. It's a new book called 100 Things Successful People Do. Little exercises for successful people. Bit of cheese. You're not going to be a successful person. I already am a successful person because I've got you. Aww. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? <laughs> We've got 100 Things Successful People Do, which I'm quite excited to read. I just bought this on Amazon the other week. Give credit where credit's due, put into action, leave your comfort zone, discover what drives you. So this should be really interesting. I just find things like that, like this are quite motivating. Even like though you know a lot of the points already, it's still quite motivating. 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 To like kind of read them and refresh your mind a bit. I also have received an H&M parcel, like an H&M home one and a Zara home one. Both, I think there's three things between them all. But once we've had lunch, I will show you inside there as well. Won't I? <laughs> That's not funny. It fits you in better when we put it up there. Got to mention one more thing. So I ordered ages ago and they couldn't find my address, Glossier products. So I've got Glossier Brow Flick. So this is like a brow pen and this, I think this was, ooh. I mean, no colors coming out that. That's a bit weird, no colors coming out. Oh, a tiny bit. This That might be quite good for my eyebrows though. So I can build it, it's called Blonde. And I also got this, which is also blonde and it is their boy brow. It's 
So. My eyebrow, is that for me? No. This is probably not the best way to do it, but. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying these out. Obviously, heard a lot about Glossier and never had any of their products before. And finally, after all this time, they have arrived. So I'll keep you updated on that. So it's after lunch now. We just had egg on toast. Quite a few people last week said they enjoyed seeing what I ate, which I don't know, it's it's not that exciting to me. But um, usually for lunch, we have like egg and toast, a salad, some soup, kind of one of those on rotation. And I'll show you what we're having tonight later on. So I'm gonna do these parcels now. So the first one is from H&M Home and they've got like new in collection. That is always very tempting. First thing I got is this candle. Ooh, it's actually bigger than I thought, which is good. Ooh, it's bamboo premium batch love that that is so good mm, smells really nice as well definitely would like to keep that it's four in the bedroom actually and um, to go on a new shelf but it would go anywhere in here because it's kind of natural colors and then i also got from there bars also for in the bedroom as well with the with that next grip. So this is quite unusual actually. It's like a yellowy gold. Love that actually. That's really nice. I'll try and link them both, but it's like this yellowy kind of gold. Uh, and it'll go in the bedroom where we've got the kind of golds and blacks colour scheme and it'll go with my new cushion that I got. And it looks really nice with that together. But I'll show you in situ in a minute. So next I'm going to do the Zara one. This is for this shelf actually. Hopefully it'll go on here. Very well packaged, which actually is a surprise from Zara because the last things I've had, I had I ordered two bars. Well, I ordered a bars and it arrived broken. I ordered the same one again and it also arrived broken. So I didn't get the bars in the end. I just got a refund. I'm sure it happened with something else I got from Zara Home. People said, oh, well, they're trying to be sustainable in the packaging, but yes, they can do that with the cardboard still, but just wrap it up really, really well. So, perhaps they've learnt their lesson this year. This is very well done and all recyclable. A bookend, which I thought just would look really cool on the shelf. I think it was 19.99. It's like this marble bookend, which is gonna look good on the shelf somewhere. It's very heavy actually, because it's solid marble. That is that. I will uh, show you properly in a minute, because I'm gonna sort the shelf out a little bit better. And I'll show you the vase and the candle in their place. So here are the beginnings of the shelf starting to form together. Obviously, I need a lot more stuff from it. I want to kind of add a bit of dimension, maybe in a bit of height, pile some books up, get a few more bits and bobs. I don't want to go overboard with it, obviously. I'm going to fill it with more books over time, but this is just the beginnings. It's coming together nicely. I think I'm going to go with a bit more heavier greys as well to bring that kind of start this kind of side of things into there. But yeah, really happy with it so far. Definitely gonna have a look for some bits and bobs tonight um, to fill it up with. Then through to here, just on this little stand, popped the candle and the vase, which I think just fit really nicely there actually. Just give it a little bit of something extra on there. And then it blends in with this new cushion here, the kind of yellowy, goldy tones. And I'm also gonna pick out some of the pink. I've ordered a print to go on there, which has some pink and gold. So that'll pick that out. But yeah, it's coming together nicely in here now. It's the end of the day. Well, it's about half five, quarter to six. And just making something to eat. I've changed into my comfy clothes because I feel like that's a way to relax at the end of the day and kind of switch off and have that break from work. Especially when you're working from home. It's nice to kind of have a little, nice to have somewhat some like break from work mode to comfy mode so yeah i've just put these on I'm making something to eat i've got some hunter's chicken in the oven it's like a ready-made thing some like mediterranean veg courgettes peppers onions and then a huge sweet potato 
which we want to make sweet potato mash out of. And it was really funny, on my uh, last vlog, somebody commented saying, what is mash? Because I talked about mash. Um, so for those who don't know what mash is, if you aren't from England, mash is mashed potatoes. Just a cooked potato all mashed up into mashed potatoes it's very, it's very complicated really hard to explain but that is what mash is for anybody that's just what we call it it's like the shortened version so i'm gonna make sweet potato mash or sweet potato mashed potato so i'm just waiting for that to cook i'm just i've just shoved it in the microwave I'm just waiting for that to cook a little bit more we eat a lot of sweet potato don't we like i'm just yeah, it's the best I don't know why I like a good jacket potato, like normal yeah, potato. Sweet, be sweet potato is supposed to be better for you. Sprinkled a bit of this on. Truffle oil that we swear by that was like eight pounds, but you know, life changing. That's just where we're up to this evening. Tonight I think I'm gonna I'm gonna look for a few more bits and bobs for the shelf, have a little look online, see if there's anything I fancy. And I want to read my new book that I showed you before. I want to have a little flick through that. I've been chewing over some more accounting stuff today, which still is blowing my mind a bit, but I've lit the candles, all ready to relax and go. I'm gonna get some plates out and yeah. Hi everyone, it's Tuesday morning. We're just about to go and shoot an outfit. This is what I'm wearing. It's a really miserable day, so I think it's gonna rain any minute. So we need to get these done and dusted as soon as possible. I'm doing a what I wore in a week, so um, this will be on that video when it comes up, but yeah. Zara, H&M, Zara, this is old Zara, uh, frame denim and Topshop boots, and then my little Pauline Paris bag. So we're gonna shoot um, first. Really not the best weather for shooting. This is my Pauline bag. So that is the plan today. I've got my friends coming around later, which should be nice. I'm gonna have something to eat here. Uh, I think I'm gonna make them salmon. But that is the plan so far today. I'm gonna try and get another outfit before it rains. Back from shooting, I did two outfits in total. We also grabbed a bit of food, grabbed something for tonight. We're gonna have salmon. Yeah, that's that. I've just had a cup of tea since we got in. It's, I think it's about lunchtime, 12-ish. It's 10 to 12. I'm gonna tidy up actually because that is necessary right now. So I've got a few bits and bobs. <laughs> All that needs to be sorted. Also, I thought I'd quickly tell you, I received some products the other day from Bobby Brown, and I got a new one of these, which I've been using every single day. It's this different shade, which is called Bear Glow. So it's like the illuminating moisturizer balm. And at the moment, I use the dark one, which is a bit more of a sunny glow. And then this one is a bit more kind of highlighty and dewy and fresh. So I've used that once, but I'm gonna use up my other one that I've been using every day. And then I'm gonna move on to this one because it creates a really nice kind of base. I actually put my primer on first and then I'll just put a bit of this on over the top just to give me a bit of dewiness and also the face base which I used to use every day until it ran out not long ago and because I get sent a lot of different products I always like to kind of move on and try something else but I really love this so I'm really happy that they sent me another one it's called vitamin enriched face base and it feels so nourishing when it goes on your skin. It's not really like a moisturizer, it's not a primer either. It's somewhere kind of in between, but it's quite rich and it just feels so lovely and kind of buttery on your skin. So definitely would recommend this product and it smells so nice too. I've got my camera. Um, I've done a bit of a clean of the bathroom because I want to do some shots for my home account. So that is hopefully the plan now of what we can do. I'll try and put you somewhere so you can see. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do some shots of kind of the bathroom display and yeah, just different areas of the bathroom basically. So I've 
done a few of those now. I'm gonna transfer them to my phone and see what they look like. It's the evening now and we are, well, Tim's making his own meal because I've got my friends coming around in about, I don't know, 40 minutes or something. Um, I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of washing up, some bits need washing, set the table and just begin to make some food. I've lit my white company candle here. Obviously still not completed the shelf, but I just thought I'd light the candle. And I've got the candles lit on there and I'm gonna do the table. Someone's taking a pic of his meal. I've just washed up everything and now I'm going to, I think, set the table. Um, so I'm gonna get these mats out. I've got these placemats here we got these from h&m home actually quite a while ago i think sort of when we first moved in um so i'm gonna lay those out now i've also set the little neom up over there so that should be chugging out nicely now so i got this jug from h&m home i think this was 12.99 uh, something like that i'm not sure if they're still available like since christmas but i absolutely love this i think they'll do something similar so i'm going to fill that up and pop it on the table if anyone wants a glass of water <laughs> Because I know if they get left there, you will do them. <gasps> what a cheek. What an absolute cheek. That's such a man thing as well. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. That's why I asked you. With a great big sigh. With a great big sigh and a packet of crisps. So I'm doing sweet potatoes, Kelsey Freeze, so we've got that every night. <laughs> We actually have had this every night. What does Kel surprise me? What a surprise. No way. Um, totally. So yeah, I'm going to make, <laughs> we've just got some, uh, like a bag of frozen sweet potatoes and I'm going to um, put some truffle oil on and some, maybe some herbs. Herbs. Herbs and a bit of parmesan. I have mixed And then herbs. I'm going to pop them all in a bowl so we Guess can. Guess that chutney in a bowl, that chutney was really good. Mm. Caramelised onion chutney. Anyway, we'll it's see about lettuce that. leaves. We'll see about that. Can you move out of the way? Oh. I've got a handy little oh, shelf. Yeah. May I just put my camera on? How great is this? Great. It's perfect, right? Isn't it? Yeah. It is perfect. <laughs> so, Isabella and Lindsay have arrived. And Isabel's brought me a <laughs> lovely <laughs> little treat <laughs> in her <a> handbag. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> on the metro. Oh, <laughs> no, I got it sealed. Luckily, it didn't smell. <laughs> Fishy. <laughs> oh, God, that's so funny. Yeah, I'm obsessed with your home account, you know. Oh, thank so you. I've got Lydia's cushion. I'm ordering Lydia's mirror. Oh, yeah, the Janelle. Oh, the Janelle Mill one. Oh, yeah. This is something I do not oh, have. The or were Mill they just for like a little no, snack no. in the way home? <laughs> Where's the food from actually? Um, Made.com. Made.com, but I've had very bad service from Made.com. Oh, so yeah. Ooh, that's not a big plug. No. <laughs> so Isabel's told me that her sister puts hair in plants. Dead hair. Dead hair. Because of the Lucian. <laughs> this may not make it to the on screen because apparently it has a lot of nutrients. So I've just got my hair brush. <laughs> Some old hair. Just put it in just put it there. Yeah, so just pat it into This the looks field. like... And it will just degrade, <laughs> biodegradable. <laughs> it looks like, looks like a cobweb. <laughs> let's, I know, let's put it under the leaves. Yeah, just hide it. And okay, leaves put it, it round the back. so grateful for that little bit of hair. Yeah, apparently. okay. Yeah, see, that's fine. Where did she read this? <laughs> uh, the internet. <laughs> Her plants are all really healthy. Are they? Yeah. Okay, well I trust her. So just watch Thanks, them. Emily. leaves come up next to the... I will yeah, because it's back. looking a bit sad, isn't it? Actually, this side they, they, she also I told you it was dying. Oh. Next time this plant is, is little, on screen, little, it might be... A little bit wonky. It's a little bit wonky. You've got to prop him up in the right way he against the wall. Little, he needs a bit more Yeah, you just need to twist it. It's all about a twisting action. There we go. Um, no, 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 you can do it even better than that. Um, you can just... 
Oh, not that way, not that way. A bit better, but these ones don't look as healthy. Well, just wait until he's all healthy in the morning yeah. to see your hair. Mm. Eight hour revival treatment. Exactly. It's like a, it's face like a hair mask. mask yeah. Yes. I love it. So I'm all washed up. The girls have gone home. We've got my little fake fireplace on. How cute is that? Oh, I need to turn the music off so I don't get done for copyright. I've got my hair in my tree. Very interesting. Um, but we had such a lovely night. It was always good to see my friends and have a little catch up. Just got tidied up now. I think it's about half nine. By the way, this fire that I mentioned. So this is on Netflix and basically it's like a real fireplace and you just put it on the background and it makes like a fire crackling noise. You just type in fire on Netflix, it comes up. It's just so cute. It just creates a bit of like atmosphere in the room and quite warm. It's such a nice night and the salmon was actually quite nice. I'm just gonna now take my makeup off, I think. Blow all the candles out. Love this winter one. This winter white company still smells so good. I will probably see you in the morning at some point. Oh, I left a cup. In the morning at some point. I've not got much planned tomorrow. I'm just knitting back home and I'm also going to the hairdressers whilst I'm there. Hi everyone, it's actually Thursday now. No, it's not. Yeah, it is Thursday. Um, I didn't vlog at all yesterday because um, I just had to crack on with getting work done and it wasn't a very exciting day. Um, I filmed an IGTV, got a lot of editing done and then just sat on my laptop and worked. And then I went back to my parents' house in the afternoon, got a little trim um, yesterday, which I'm really happy with. Much prefer the shorter length kind of even thinking maybe even a tiny bit shorter. It's about, mm, I think it's about quarter to 12. I've just popped some washing in, so if you can hear it, that's what it is. I wanted to show you though, I've just literally just grabbed an H&M order from downstairs. And when I also arrived back, um, a decennial order had arrived. So I'm gonna show you both of those things. I'm gonna unbox the H&M one. I might even have to put the light on because it's that dark. So these bits are for my shelf. These are what I ordered the other day. So one is a pitch frame, which is this, and the other, what's the other? Oh, a plant pot. This is the frame. It is just like a black metal one. I don't know whether I mentioned before that I'm just going to go for like black and maybe some dark wood, like blacky shades, very dark greys and some dark wood on the shelf and a bit of white obviously. It's really um, kind of minimalist, modern. And then the plant part, H&M Home are so good at the moment. I can tell like this year their collections are going to be just amazing. Seeing a lot of dark woods and browns around on there, which I really like. A bit of a change from all the kind of goldy things that they've had. So this is the plant pot. It's like a very dark wood. I don't know whether it's like mango wood. I'm not sure, can't remember. I think both things below, but oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. So this is what they look like on. I've just popped that in there for now. It's just like a gray pot, but I'm not sure that's gonna stay in there. It might just be an empty pot. And then that's the frame on there. I also brought two books back from my old house just to kind of layer up with the coral. So it's slightly more coming together and what, more of what I envisioned. It definitely is still lacking. I don't think I like this up there. I don't like the gray. I think it needs something more blacky. So they're coming together. I need to put a picture inside the picture frame. Then the other thing I was gonna show you, which just arrived, is this print from Decenio, just to tie in those gold and pink shades and that is gonna go up there so you can't see it very well but that's kind of like the situation and then I've also got my bits on down there which kind of ties in the yellows and the golds so yeah I just popped it on the bed for now just to see if all the colors kind of went together and they do really like that glad I chose it and it would bring a bit of warmth to the room as well voila so I've made a tuna salad I've just sprinkled some olive oil on there tuna mayonnaise, some cucumber, lettuce leaves, olives, tomatoes, and spring onion. Um, nothing too exciting, but I'm looking forward to eating them. 
It's Tuesday morning. No, oh my God. It's Friday morning, what's wrong with me? It's Friday morning and it's about half 10 now. I've actually had such a productive start to the day. I um, started the day, I went to the gym first thing this morning and then came back, cleaned the whole apartment from top to bottom, put some washing in, had some breakfast, put the dishwasher on, got ready, got dressed, and I've just had a little meeting. So, that is Friday so far, feeling much more productive than yesterday. I didn't really vlog the rest of my day yesterday because I just didn't. Oh, I need to tell you something. So, it's actually a really exciting day today because for those of you who didn't know, so we are celebrating. I'm gonna pop a bottle of Prosecco in the fridge. We're celebrating tonight because, I'm gonna go in here because that is horrendous. Naughty. We're celebrating tonight because it is, sorry, excuse the mess on the bed. It is Tim's last day of work at his old job. If you don't know, Tim has been working with me on a part-time basis for a couple of months now, well, a bit longer than that. So we've just been sort of trialing that out and seeing how it goes and it's been really good. Like we've really both enjoyed it. We've felt like we've really progressed somewhere. We've got somewhere and we're working really well together. We're at the point now where it was kind of like his old job was something that he wasn't enjoying and just it just wasn't right to be going. So we have decided that Tim is gonna work with me full time. Um, he's got a couple of his own little bits and bobs um, that he's doing. A lot of the time he'll be working on my video editing, helping me shoot content and stuff like that, which is something he really, really enjoys. So it's so nice that we'll we're kind of able to do that together. Where we can now go in like all guns blazing and really get a good start to the new year. It kind of just seemed right that it was the beginning of January. So it just kind of seemed right that we had that break and that fresh start. And I think we're both really ready for 2020 and to kind of progress and hopefully do a lot more of what we're doing and better. And yeah, it's really exciting, really exciting. We're gonna be, together a lot but it's nice we seem to have a good balance when we tend to often work in different rooms anyway so he's got his own sort of office in there and I tend to work from the table in the um, kitchen so we've got our own spaces which is nice and we've got our own things obviously that we do I think it'll just work out very well um tonight we're definitely going to celebrate open a bottle of Prosecco and yeah cheers to his new role so yeah that's that's big news for us it's always scary doing something like that but I feel like you have to make a decision whether it's like now or never and it it comes that time like this happened when I was working for part-time and doing this job there comes a time when you are making decisions like big decisions that will affect your job or your life or whatever and you kind of been weighing it up for a long time and there comes a time where you just you still like you've still got those thoughts in the back of your mind like oh what if what if what if but it comes a time where you're just like right I need to just do it it's it's now or never we just need to rip the plaster off and go for it and I found I found that a few times in life especially to do with this job I had it when I was going part-time we had it before when Tim was transitioning from his other full-time job to part-time and now when he's um, transitioning to full-time there's always that feeling and and you can feel the build-up and it's actually a really exciting time and you've just kind of got to roll with those emotions because it's so easy to choose a safe option and what is the point in living your life choosing the safe option so yeah that's our new venture very exciting um yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it and see what happens but you'll probably be seeing a lot more of him around on my vlogs predominantly on my vlog and also go and follow him on instagram as well his handle is at timothy rotherham so he'll be doing content on his own channel if you've got husbands or boyfriends who are in need of some style advice family members his style is kind of similar to mine in that it's quite classic so yeah if you if you've got um men who are looking for a bit of inspo then go and follow him over on there um, so yeah i just thought i'd talk to you about this because it's a big step for us and
So I've just been editing this vlog and realised how long it is because I was going to take you shopping with me but I'm not going to do that in this vlog because it's already so long. So I just wanted to log off and say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already and go and follow me on Instagram. My handle is at the DJ and Tomlinson. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.